Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Are you considering building a tiny home or an ADU? I found a great resource you just gotta see. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. If you're considering building a smaller dwelling to save on costs, whether you're thinking a tiny home or an ADU, then there's a few things you gotta know, such as what are some of the building options out there and whether or not you can do the majority of the work yourself and what things have already been done for you that you can then modify to your personal taste. Well, we found this great resource, Affordable DIY Steel Frame Homes. Now this is published by Frame Up Now, a company that actually uses what's called CFS, cold form steel to create the skeleton of the home. And they've partnered with different uh, entities to make building lists or material lists readily available. And you can literally take uh, the panel or the sections of the framing, they're not panels, they're open framing, and erect the building shell, literally with some help of some friends that are just even somewhat handy. Uh, and this book shows you how it's done. The book also walks you through, there's 25 individual ADUs that are listed in here, accessory dwelling units, and uh, 18 tiny homes that give you an idea. Plus, the book utilizes flow codes that allow you to use the QR code reader on your phone, uh, where you can just simply look at extended content that is listed throughout the book. So if you want to see more in animation about laying out the slab, and by the way, the slab should be done by a professional in most all cases, simply because everything rests on that and all of the penetrations of the slab, whether it's plumbing, electrical, communication cables, anything like that, has to be precise. And usually that's better left to the professionals. But once that slab is done, then the fun begins when you snap out the lines and use the uh, plan that is supplied with the whole kits that you buy to put these in. You can literally dry in a home or have the, the frame all up in less than a week and dry it in shortly thereafter. Boy, really decreasing the amount of time it gets to finish. One of the great things about this approach of using a shell or a steel frame like this is that all of the exteriors can be a wide range. Now this one is kind of a boxy, more square that's commonly used in the southwest portion of the United States. But you can see that all sorts of things can be done with that same uh, set of, of uh, framing that you can make it your own. So there's a lots of room creativity once you lay out the space, then you can do all sorts of finishes related to it. And this is a great idea book that just walks you through that. You can buy this book from a variety of sources. We'll list them out in the description below. You should expect to pay around $50 for this book. Now you go, $50 for a book? Well, like any good investment, the real payback is later on. This is well worth thousands of dollars worth of savings and getting you further down the track faster to making a decision or plan to jump into action. Well, if this is a little bit more than you want to take on as far as framing goes, check out this video that we show you a simple home repair. How to replace that front door lock. If it fails, it's a lot easier than you think and I'll walk you through it step by step. And while you're at it, check out this other video that YouTube thinks is perfect for your interest from our catalog. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay, dirtfarmerjay.com.